okay, I'm pretty sure this is the end of the game, so I'm going to show you what ending I get. God damn, that was a pain in the ass, that last boss. Whew. What ending am I going to get? I heard there's 16 endings, but that might be a lie. I don't know. True freedom! Ugh. Time to go. Time to go where? Everyone's dead. How do Orlando text you? I wanted to talk with you myself. But you wouldn't answer any of my calls. <sighs> so, what is it? It's over. I don't want to talk about it. Don't you get it? Yeah, I do. I need to tell you something. God, I hate her. I really hate her. <laughs> what is it? This is your last chance. Just say it already, come on. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> Dramatic pause bullocks. <laughs> crazy too. I mean, that's a problem in and of itself, but... Hey, are you serious? It's all true. My friends and the boss here showed me that it was all in my head. You don't expect me to believe this. No. I just didn't want it to end with a misunderstanding. That's why I had you come here. No. That can't be true. And that means because of that, we... You're lying. It's not a lie. Johnny, Orlando. Long time no see, Kay. Ooh. Sorry. Don't sweat it. It'd be hard for anyone to believe a story like that at first. Yeah. Uh, we didn't believe it either. Until we heard from Erica. <gasps> Besides, if this fool really did cheat on you, well, we wouldn't help him out like this. Um, about the illusion. Ha ha ha! You? What the heck? What's going on? You see... Oh god. It 
it's all true. Please, believe me. <laughs> oh my god. Well, let's give him some time. It may have been fake, but in my heart I was still cheating on you. I'm sorry. I know you can't forgive me for what I've done. No, I can't. I finally woke up. I was worried about how my life was going. Oh. I thought everything was being destroyed for me. I was being tossed about by the world. I had so much stress. <laughs> but after you dumped me, I figured it out. My life has no meaning without you. Why are you telling me this now? So I'll never regret not telling you. I will hold you dear for the rest of our lives. Will you marry me? <sighs> Catherine, I love you. This is so sudden, Eric. I oh. mean now. So sudden? Someday. This is not what I meant. What the hell? Yay! This is wonderful. Problem is, is that Just wonderful. you were together for five years. I'm getting worked up about. Besides, I can't believe. I know I can't either. This is perfect. What? Jeez. You've been together. That is. What? Gee, I can't I can speak. I can barely believe this myself. Let me speak. They've been together for five years, so I have no idea what they were like for five years. But all, in this game, she's just a, a douche. So, but maybe for five years she was good. Hello, everyone. It's nice to be able to see you. Is that Erica? How'd you enjoy the show? It looks like Erica, apart from with a big afro. <laughs> Even Astaroth, the mastermind behind the nightmares, was amazed. Yeah. Did you happen to notice the central conflict that this game's masterful creators placed at its core? It's Erica, isn't it? It do looks you like you. Do you live a comfortable and steady life? Or do you secretly long for a free life full of excitement? For what? The stairway Vincent was forced to climb could be taken as a metaphor. It symbolized the journey to adulthood, pressuring him to make his tough life decisions. Don't you agree? And the finale. Mm. Vincent begging his lover to come back to him. Uh. On every word, wondering how she would react to his desperate plea. She was at a loss as Vincent poured his heart out to her. But in the end, she answered him with a smile. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say she's a bit too forgiven. But this is the answer Vincent discovered after forging through his nightmarish ordeal. Catherine must have felt the strength of his conviction, and she knew that this was his true answer. Maybe it depends on how much of Vincent's feelings that she can sense. You think that could be what determines the future for those two? Hmm? Hey, tell me, what did you players out there think of this outcome? Yeah, what did you think? <laughs> you hope their second chance works out. Mm. Ah, they'll be all right, won't they? No. <laughs> so are you worried about them? Yes. Because mm. I know I am. Well, let's peer a bit into their future together. Shall we? <laughs> Games are lovely creations, aren't they? Hope to see you soon. Stay golden. Uh... I think there's a bit after. A few months later. Wedding! Uh, oh, it's him. Of course.
She looks a lot better than she does normally. Normally she looks ugly. In my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that? Who's that? You know, I've been thinking maybe I should start looking for my own soulmate. Oh dear. Toby, you idiot! Don't report me without telling me. Come on, what's the big deal? <laughs> oh wow, this is some feast. So just what is Chief really looking for? He talks about meeting a soulmate. I know, I never asked him. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Yeah, so I heard the news. This place isn't closing down after all. That's yes. Right. It's good for me since I get to hang on to my job. Huh? Although he's not going to stop hitting on me. <clears throat> oh. He's kind of an odd one, huh? And besides... He'll be fine. I mean, I don't believe everything he said. But I'll go on drinking here if it keeps those dreams away. And besides, if this place ever goes under, then this town will have nothing going for it, right? Exactly. Can't have our local hangout clothes on us. Anyway, Catherine looks great in that outfit. She's wasted on you, Vince. Man, I'm so jealous. Life is so freaking unfair, you know? I'm never gonna win big like him. <laughs> oh, Eric. don't you worry now. We'll always have each other, sweet pea. I, I, the other guys knew you was Eric back in school. I want my damn V card back. Sorry, but once that hole is punched, there's no refund. Uh. <laughs> oh, come on, Johnny, please, for the love of God, stop recording me. <laughs> hey, on, don't sweat it. Give me a smile. Oh, hey, what took you so long? The fairy was running behind. Oh. oh. Yeah, I guess I should tell you. We decided to give things another shot. Yeah. Another shot? <laughs> really? Well, then. Congratulations, you two. Well, it's just that, I don't know, lately I've had a little more spring in my step, you know? So, what's the plan? Try to learn from my mistakes back when I was young and dumb. This time around, things will be different. Just you watch. This time? I'm gonna get back into the fishing industry. Only here's the kicker. I'll be fishing exclusively for kappa. Huh? What, just kappa? You better believe it. I'm after the rarest beast in the sea. Eating one will give you peerless virility. Wow, that's awesome, Orlando. You really know your stuff. You got him believing in Kappa now? He never learns. <laughs> no such thing. So how come your fairy was Guys, heads up. The star of the show has just arrived. Who? Who is that? The star of the show just arrived. What was that? Oh, ending. Skip. Can I skip the ending? Skip the ending. Oh, look. Oh, congrats, man. Make sure you keep your lovely bride happy, okay? All right, Toby, let's start the kiss call. Uh-huh, sounds good to me. Yeah, everyone grab your spoons. Got your glasses? Huh? Glasses up, sound off. <laughs> <laughs> No, she's nice, of course. She's normally a, a douche. Yeah. And I love you, Catherine. Finn. Is that the ending? Is that the actual ending? What's going on? This is Finn. I still hear a bit of noise of like the wedding going on. It's getting louder, I think. Well, anyway, I like this ending quite a lot, actually. It's a good ending. Why well, press X? Welcome to the Coliseum. What the hell? I think there's a two player co op mode. Deep Silver. 
It's done. So that's Catherine. I like. I like the ending. I like the ending. I was a little bit. I've seen I, because this game took like six, seven months to come out in UK at least. So you know you couldn't buy it anywhere in the UK. So I was like, well, you know, I'm gonna. You know, I thought I watched the playthrough of it because I thought I'd never actually get to play it. So I already seen one of the endings, and it was like the evil, evil ending. Uh, Enjoy our story by taking control of our tormented um, main character and leading him to... Okay, sure, shush a minute, I want to talk about the game. But, um, I kind of annoy you know, Catherine, the blonde one, that you see right here. You don't, I wish she'd turn up in the ending or something. Because in the other, the end, evil ending, uh, something happens with her. That's kind of a weird that you don't see her at the end of this one. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure there's 16 different endings, but I might be wrong. I might have heard wrong. There might be eight. There might be four each way. I thought there was eight evil endings, eight good endings. Maybe it's four evil endings and four good endings, but I'm not sure. One... Okay, so, my thoughts on the game... Ugh, very mixed opinions. I'm glad I played it. I'm glad I played it. I'm glad I, I would have been... You know, I don't regret playing it. I wouldn't have missed it for anything. But... The, it's funny, dude. Like the game, its difficulty is completely wrong. The last, the last stage is easy, as hell. But then the last, the stage before that is like one of the hardest levels in the game. It it really doesn't make sense. And then the last three before that, because there's five levels in the last level and last stage. And the first three levels in the last stage are so easy, so easy. It, it makes no sense. And then like level seven three is like the hardest level in the game, and then level seven four is like super easy. Um, it just the difficulty is completely sporadic. Second, uh, another problem with it: the controls are dreadful, especially in the boss battles. Because the boss battle, the camera turns. And the controls glitch and like invert, and then they also and then the camera turns back, but the controls don't go back how they should do. You know, they bug out and stop working, and you you know, which is a big problem. A camera is a pain because especially in the boss battles, the camera will zoom out to see the boss, and you can't see what you're like jumping on or anything. But um. Other than, and the saving, if you forget to save, you're screwed. Um, and it's because there's no auto save, that's a problem. Other than that, I do like it quite a lot, you know. But I like the the bar, like the bar. I lo I love it. It's really cool. It's like you get the puzzle, a cutscene, and then the bar, and then the puzzle, the cutscene, the bar. I like that a lot because like you get. You know, the puzzle, which is really, you know, blah, 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 really uh, adrenaline rushing. And then the cutscene is just nice to look at and listen to the story. And the bar is kind of peaceful. It's interesting. You get a load of story and backstory in the uh, bar. But, you know, I'm glad I played this. It's a really long game and all. It's Well, it took me about 16 hours. Now, obviously, I failed a lot. So, well, I didn't fail that much. I think I had like 60 retries left over at the end. But, you know, I thought the game was going to take me 8 hours to beat. It ended up taking me 16 hours. But I don't know I don't know if the game counts pause time. You know, if you pause and it still counts that, I don't know. But, you know, it's still a pretty long game. I'd say if it does count pause time, I'd say it's around 13, 14 hours. But if it doesn't count pause time, then it's about 16 hours. And you also has a choose from various stages of the Golden Playhouse and have a competitive climb off. So there's like two player co-op. I don't know if it's split screen or not. And you can go back through stages, take on trials, like different trials. So that's Catherine. It's a, you know, I've never really played a game like it. I like the art style a lot. I like the story a lot. I like games that have long cutscenes and are 
you know, cool. Problem is the the second to last, there's like one of the, one of the last cutscenes. There's a 30 minute cutscene which is way too long. You know, that really got annoying. But other than that, the cutscenes are really cool, what, cool to watch and. The game, the game, I was going to say, the game doesn't actually feel too long or anything, it doesn't feel too short, you know, it doesn't, but I, doesn't, it doesn't necessarily feel the right length, it just, you know, there was no problem with the length of the game, you know, it wasn't too long, it wasn't too short, but that's, you know, Catherine, I would, you know, I would say try it out, if you didn't get it on PlayStation Plus, I would say still try and find it and buy it. Because you probably enjoy it. Keep in mind, it's a really, uh, really annoying game at times. When the controls are very frustrating, you know, but it still can be pretty adrenaline rushing. So that is Kefring, a really uh, cool, unique puzzle game.